Hello there, and welcome to Andre's YouTube vlog for August 2nd, 2012. Now, I know that I told all of you in my previous vlog that I wouldn't be doing another one uh, until I got my regular computer back from the shop, but I was actually able to install my regular HD webcam into the um, computer I was using, even though it's seven years old, and uh, sometimes this ri reliability can be a little iffy. But that's not what I wanted to talk to you about today. I was in the grocery store um, the other day, and I saw a front page article on the Bangor Daily News, and it was about a man named um, Dr. Mark Varnum. He operates optometry offices in Bangor and Oakland, Maine. And the article featured a picture of the optometrist and stated that he sent a letter on Monday to the Boy Scouts of America National Executive Board decrying the group's decision this summer to uphold its policy of um, non-inclusion of homosexuals in their organization after a two-year review. Uh, enclosed in this letter were his Eagle Scout medal, which he earned as a 16-year-old in Presque Isle, his Bronze Palm Award, which is granted when a Boy Scout attains merit badges after attaining the rank of an Eagle Scout, and two more advanced medals. And apparently, other Boy Scouts across the nation have done the same thing. Um, the Boy Scouts of America National Organization in Texas have actually upheld their decision to keep homosexuals out of the organization, even though the United States military has allowed it. How's that for thinking? For Mark Varnum's part, he has stated that scouting, by its very nature, is meant to encourage character building and to teach leadership. And in his opinion, you can't be a leader and you can't teach character if you're going to discriminate against other people. That's much clearer thinking. That's much more reliable thinking. And I just wanted to say in this vlog um, that I'm making right now, um, thank you very much, Mark, for your um, stance and your sense of indignation on this cause. It's time for prejudice of all sorts to end. And this reminds me of a story that occurred uh, many, many moons ago. Uh, when I was a youngster, uh, about 12, 13, uh, my family and I had a dad by the name Randon Bragdon, who operated Bangor. He was a trusted fan of years, until around the time he was in the Bangor Daily Mail, but very as um, Mattress Mark Varnum. Um, his stance was the gloves and protective equipment with tree patients. References. Uh, and very spiritual man, um, we all saw that there was a very religious component to Dr. Bragdon's stance. And that opinion of his, combined with the fact that he was having more media people come in every time we tried to go and get a um, dental checkup, we decided to um, discontinue our relationship with Dr. Bragdon, our professional relationship. Uh, not only because my parents and I both did not support his but father, not me getting the wrong idea about how to treat and about prejudice. I you know I congratulate my parents forever for that. And while I don't hate uh, Dr. Bragdon for that, that would be the wrong opinion to the people who hate from fear. I am really gratified that so much has changed that a man who has a broader-minded opinion could be on the Bangor Daily News stating the opposite opinion today that Dr. Bragdon did 20 years ago. Hats off to you, Mark Varnum, and you are my YouTube hero of the week, as it were. See you next time.